So musculoskeletal disorders are a group of disorders and it encompasses arthritis and there are many different types of arthritis. In fact, there's over 150 different types of arthritis. But despite being the leading cause for disability, there's a major mismatch between the burden and what's available for research. Enormous impact uh, on the person living with those conditions. Uh, they very often have to retire earlier, their savings base is not as great, uh, they can't fulfil their roles in terms of manual work, but they also can't fulfil their family roles. Uh, but that's also a major loss of productivity, uh, so it sort of goes both ways. The individual loses out and society loses out. So I do multiple roles. I'm I'm a clinician and I'm an advocate there for my patient and so I'm wanting to get access to the best available treatments for them. As a researcher I'm always looking for new treatments. We've done a lot of clinical trials here so I like to embed research within the clinical practice uh, to answer important questions. We don't know what causes arthritis. It can affect people in so many different ways and we've got all these wonderful new treatments yet they don't work in everyone and in fact some people have some very bad side effects. So there's so many unknowns and so many important questions that we need to find answers to. We've got an exciting new project, uh, the Biobank, so the Arthritis and Autoimmune Diseases uh, Australian Biobank Collaborative. Our vision is to build on a registry that we already have, a national registry for people with arthritis. Over 3,000 patients have been giving us wonderful patient reported outcome data over many years now. But the key piece of information missing has been their biospecimens. So now we've uh, launched this national collaborative, a fantastic team uh, around Australia of rheumatologists and scientists that are uh, sharing the vision um, and uh, we're the lead site here at uh, the Institute of Bone and Joint Research and Colling Institute, Royal Shaw Hospital, Sydney University, that's uh, us here leading that. And our vision is to collect uh, blood, uh, so the immune cells from blood, um, the proteins in the blood, uh, to collect synovial fluid and the, the immune cells in the fluid, tissue if they're having their joints replaced or joint surgery, um, microbiome, so we'll be getting samples of saliva, samples of feces, so poo samples. Everything's very carefully barcoded, so you take a tube of blood but that will be aliquoted out into multiple tubes so you can do future experiments with that and cells will be taken out of it and proteins will also be taken out of it and stored somewhere else. It'll be broken down to DNA and RNA. People will have a resource and, and everyone will benefit. It's always been a struggle to get research funding and I hope 10 years from now it won't be a struggle because all of the resources are there. They're uh, that's the vision and that people will be able to do postdoctoral fellowships and PhDs uh, with the resource that we've created. Patients are incredibly important in this type of research and we hope that this biobank will help work out why that individual got arthritis and that treatment will work at this time for them and the patients are really driving that. musculoskeletal conditions and arthritis. It can kill you actually um, and, and maybe we can even cure it if we really develop the right uh, resources and uh, research infrastructure. If we set out with that vision that we want to cure it uh, then maybe we will one day and that's certainly what we're trying to do here.